welcome to, welcome to uh, this, this particular session. Uh, first of all, uh, there's a particular file. Uh, let me just do a quick introduction. I'm Anthony Biel Tan. Okay, I'll be uh, uh, spending one hour with you to share with you on the topics that we are covering today. Now, there's a file. Uh, please, uh, it's a uh, what we call training target setting demo learning set. Uh, if you can, uh, can you please download that particular file? Okay, so that uh, if you if you think that you want to follow me and how to actually learn about target setting in the most practical way, can you please just download the file which uh, Pavi has sent to you? All right. Okay. Uh, can you see the file? Can you go to the chat and you go to the chat? You show to see the file. Can you download it, everyone? Just because I'll spend the first ten minutes just to give you an orientation of the the learning target setting tools so that you can see how it works. Uh, okay, everyone, can you hear me? If you can hear me, can you just key a one into the chat, please? Can you hear me? If you can, just key a one into the chat. Okay. Yes, SH, I, uh, it's good. Anyone who can hear me, just key a one into the chat, please. We'll probably start in a couple of minutes. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just key a one into the chat, please. If you all can hear me, I will appreciate if you can, let's do some basic communication, just key a one into the chat. I will appreciate it very much. So at least I know that uh, you can hear me. Yeah. All right, there's a file, which uh, is an Excel macro file, okay. Uh, if you can, can you please just uh, go and download it? All right. Now, if you have downloaded it, just key a two for me. Of course, uh, if you use handphone, then uh, it's a bit of an issue here. But if you use a, a laptop or a PC, you just have to download the file, the one that uh, I'll just send it to you. All right. If you download, just key a two for me. Uh, that's pretty good. So I will, I will share with you how we can, we can do the sessions here. All right. Uh, I'll start in another one more minutes. Okay so that uh, whoever comes in late, never mind, we will just proceed to share with you what we have to do, okay? Just download the file and I will just explain to you what the whole thing is all about. Okay, I think with much ado, I will start the session, whether who comes in early, late or not, we will still proceed to do the sessions, all right? Now, very good, everyone. I first welcome you to uh, this learning series, uh, which we have been organizing every month since the beginning of January. Uh, and it's a pleasure to see some of you who still come back uh, and continue to uh, what we call learn uh, on how to drive performance in a more uh, objective manner. Now, I will do a very quick introduction of the myself. Okay, my, my name is Anthony E. L. Tan. Okay, I've been in the uh, training professions or consulting for almost 20 over years. So for size area of expertise is in performance management. All right. So very quickly, I'll just go through uh, and share with you my screenshots. Okay. All right, let's go to the topics that we're covering today. Now, basically, uh, what I want to spend in the next one hour was to, to share with you about new approaches and new ways in which how to set targets, all right? So this has been a glaring problem for uh, quite a lot of uh, people. So that uh, I, in the course of work, I always find a lot of people know how to understand the KPI, but when it comes to actually driving it, 
uh, uh, to set target is always an issue. All right, let me just quickly go through an overview with you what we intend to do here. Now, actually developing KPI is the easy part. I think everybody knows how to do KPI. The challenging part is setting target is quantitative, trackable, and meaningful. I think this is, this is a major issue here. So today I'm not gonna go into theory. There's a lot of hands-on so that you can see how the thing works. And of course, I think most people I find I went to today, uh, people are still struggling with how to set targets, uh, which makes sense. Okay. In fact, that is one of the reasons why in many organizations, people actually think that KPI doesn't work, okay? And to do assessment. And the problem is some organizations have KPI, but they still do it in a very subjective manner. So I got people who ask me a question, hey, can KPI uh, be subjective in nature? Actually, there's no such thing. You either can measure or you cannot measure. If you cannot measure, please don't measure because it doesn't make sense at all when you try to do measures and so forth, all right? Now, in this one of the sessions, my objective is to give each and every one a fresh perspective on how do you set target and target range. Setting a target without a target range is also very meaningless because it doesn't provide you a dimension in which how we can actually drive performance. Now, what I'm going to do today basically is uh, to provide the various approaches in what, how you can set target, ta target range. I'm going to use three very commonly used performance metrics, timely delivery of work, revenue, project timely completions. All right, as I mentioned, some of you who will just come in, uh, there is a link for you to actually download the smart tools. So please download the smart tools so that uh, you can actually follow me and how we're gonna work here. Now, a couple of things I wanna go in now and share with you the smart tools, all right? Now let's go into the, uh, the uh, what you call the uh, smart tools. Now you should have one file of course, the name is very different by your target setting, learning and demo set, I think, which is the one that you have here. Uh, so you just have to click on the particular file you downloaded, all right? Now, I would suggest that if possible, can you make your, uh, uh, what I call my screenshot, uh, the one I share with you, uh, put it on the top, top right hand and make it very minimum so that, uh, so that you can actually see how the target settings smart tool works here, all right? Just put it, uh, don't have to do full screen, just do one quarter, put either on the top on the left hand corner so that you can then open up the file to see how to do target settings. Okay, so uh, do me a favor if you're okay. All right, what is this? Please uh, inbox admin if you do not get the file. Okay, so go to inbox admin so you can actually get the file and so forth. All right, now very quickly, uh, I just want to see what has been done here. So now everybody, please do me a favor. If those have downloaded, you just click on the file, the, the demo set file. You should be able to see this particular file here. All right. So please uh, make it very, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, how would I say that uh, you, uh, so that you can see this file here. All right. Now, everybody, have you downloaded the file? If not, I would just, uh, have you downloaded the file? If you have downloaded the file and you open the file, okay. Can you do me a favor? Just key a tree for me to, to give me an indication that you have downloaded the file and open up the file, okay? Uh, just open the file. So uh, very important, open up the file so that you can see. So you just put my screenshot on the top left-hand corner so that at least at the same time, you can see the file that you've downloaded, all right? I think that's very important part of the exercise. Maybe you just put on the left-hand corner so that we can see the file that you have opened up here, okay? Just make it very small so that you can see the file that you open up. Now, there are a couple of things before we go into a session. This will take about maybe five, 10 minutes just to give some orientation here. Now, this is the target setting file which we're gonna use, and I'm gonna use only refer to set number seven. Now, you can change the resolutions of the file by basically, uh, you can click, let's say, if your computer says so you can click here. So there are two little button here, all right, take note, huh? you can just click here view 72, view 80, so that you can change the resolution so that the file can just change the resolution for you. If not, you can put view 70, so that you can change the view 70, okay? The key thing of the whole idea of today's training basically is to make sure that your file must be H to H, very important thing. You don't want to have a file where you see that, that part of the file has been uh, cut off, all right? So in this case, it's not a very good way of looking at a file. 
So what you need to do is you can also customize. If let's say 70, 80 doesn't work, you can actually click here and change any other resolutions that you have here, click here. All right, so 86, now if 86 you don't have, there's a little button here. If you can see, there's a little square here. You click on it, you can also change the resolution here. All right, okay, so that's one way of doing it. All right, or you can just click any one of the two files and uh, any of the two objects there, and you can change the resolution of the file. Now, very important thing is you must see your file H to H. You don't want it to cut off halfway or you want to have part of the file that you cannot see. Neither do you want that this particular Excel file to be too small here. All right. So uh, please pick you know, these are the few things that we need to know. There are a lot of things to learn about the file, but this is today just only how to change the resolutions that you can do it. Now, if some if some of you have actually done it already, all right, and can customize the resolutions, all right. Just key a four for me in the chat. All right, just key a four, open a file and play. If you're not, you can post a question to me or you can ask me directly. It's not a problem. All right. So I give you a couple of minutes for those who have done it. Just go and uh, change the resolutions. Okay. If anyone had difficulty changing the resolution, do let me know. Okay. So that you can use this to train your executive. You can actually use it to do a learning about target setting. My intention was to give this file so that after spending one hour with you, you can go back and learn and how to do it with your subordinates or with your colleagues and with anyone who wants to learn about target settings. So those that have done it, please key a four for me so that I know that you have customized your resolution. Okay, just key a four for me. Those who have not downloaded, just click on the file. Okay, Karen, fantastic. So make sure you can see something. Ken, you have done a great job there. So good. So that you can see the whole resolution here. All right. Now, for those of you who have not downloaded a file, never mind, you just follow me. Uh, you can always download anytime. And this is very important. Today, you just need to know how to do a couple of things. You know? Okay, you just have to change the resolution. This is very important because the next part I want to share with you is about. Now, this is actually a learning and demo set for target setting. Okay, so. Very important, there are a couple of other things that you need to learn is, can you see besides set one, set two, set three, set four, set five, six to until set eight, you can see that there is a little object with a star there. Now, this object is meant for you to go into each of the set, all right, each of the set. Let's say I want to go into set one. All I have to do is just click this object, okay? I just click this object and everybody look here. Everybody follow me. If you have done, just click this object set one and straight away, you can go into set one. All right, so when you go to set one, you want to go back. Can you see there's an object called M, stand for mean, book means mean. You click back and you were able to go back to the file here. Now it's very important that when you go in, you must know how to come up first. So basically that will show you how to go into each of the files that you want to do here. All right, so this is an object. So everybody goes into set number one, all right, you want to go back, you just click M and you can go back again. All right, so there are many ways to go in and come up, but let's learn something very simple here. All right, so you want to go to set number two, you click set number two, okay, on the object and you click M again and you will come back here. Now, if you have done it, everyone you have done a simple thing like this, just key a check for me and key one that I know that you have know how to do it already. So it's very important, like any new tools, like any new cars. You bought a new car today and you need to know some features. Now, these features will help a lot in just key a one for me. All right, into the chat that I know you know how to go into the folder because today I want it to be purely hands-on. I'm going to cover any theory. So purely just hang on. I'm going to use the tool to help us in our learning process. Once you have done it, just key a one for me. All right, those who have done it, very important thing. We're going to use this to help us in our learning. Okay. Okay. Anyone have done it? Those who have downloaded as H can you have downloaded? Okay. You just click the object beside each of the set. All right. And then you click on each of the object. Okay. And then you go back to M again and you can come up back again. All right. Okay. And some of you who, for example, you could have accidentally just do like this. Okay, let's say, so for example, you do like this, you want to go to full screen, you just click full screen and you go back to full screen again. Of course,
because in this case I had to add the two and it would then allow me to go into this. So those who have done it, just key a one for me, please. If you have done it and you know how to go in. All right. And, uh, Ken, have you done it? Can you do it? If you do it, just put a one for me. I know you've done it. Okay, as I you've done it, just key a one. So I know that you, have, you know how to go in already. All right, some of you who have done it, very good. Uh, and the rest of you who have done it, just key a one for me. All right, now, this is very important. This is called basic orientations on how to, the, the tools are very smart, but today we just only learn what we need to do to cover on how to do target setting. As I mentioned to you, I want this to be a very hands-on session. Uh, all theories, nothing. I'm going to, we're, not, we're not going to cover the theory part, but we're going to show you uh, using the tools to teach you and share with you how to do target setting. Now, what I want to do now basically is this. I want to concentrate on set number seven only. Okay, the rest, later part, once I cover set number seven, you will know, uh, go back and know how to actually learn about target setting. I provide you tremendous amount of information here. All right. So what I want to do, everyone, please do me a favor. Just go to set number seven. Can you, if you can see set number seven here, click on the object here on set number seven. All right, you should come to this particular folder here. So let's, I'm going to use exercise, uh, exercise number four, to and share. I'm going to learn on how to set uh, the uh, what it's called target setting here. So if you can come into this part already, very useful. All right, so everybody, you should be able to see this part. So very important thing you must able to do. A couple of things I want to share with you is this. Again, resolutions are very important, okay? You can see there's one called view lock, view 75, view 80, and enlarge, all right? Now, what is important here is that you can enlarge so I can see a big view. So that at one time, I will enlarge it, all right? So you can see enlarge it. If I view view lock, it will able to recognize the resolution that you set up so I can put a view lock here, all right? There are a couple of things. Uh, that we have to do. So enlarge, view locks, so enlarge and view locks. So sometimes we need to see more information. So you just have to learn how to enlarge it and how to change the view locks. Now, if you have done that already, uh, just key a two for me in the chat so I know that you know how to see, how to change the resolution from large view to, uh, to, to fix. And very important, as I mentioned to you, you must be H to H so that you can see the information in this manner, all right? So just key a two for me. I know that you can actually change the resolution in this particular manner. Today, basically, it's very important. Uh, we need to use technology to help us uh, to drive performance so that we can see how things has to be done here. All right. Now, we, if that's the case, very important thing, I will now start the session here. Now, I'm going to click enlarge. All right. And this enlarge, if I put my cursor here, it will tell you a couple of things here. What is the learning point here? Okay, there are a couple of things I want to share with you on how to set target. It's very important. It's learn the target range of similar measures used by uh, two different individuals might not necessarily be the same. In other words, depending on, I can use, say for example, as I mentioned to you, uh, I'm using timely delivery. Now, two person can use the same measure timely de delivery, but sometimes fundamentally, there could be other changes, other things that we want to do. So basically, that's what it means here. Number two is learning when not to use 100% as a target for a measure, okay? There are times we can use 100%, there are times we cannot use 100% to set target here. Demonstrate two different approaches to set target range. For example, should I use A, B, should I use A, okay? Learn the use of plus factor, which is a whole new methodology where 100% is then required outcome for meet target of a measures here, all right? So these are a couple of things which uh, I'm going to cover and share with you how to set targets, which is uh, the whole new approaches. Today, a lot of things are simplified in many, many ways because technology has enabled us to do a lot of things here. All right. So these are the four things that I want to cover here. And the measures I will be using here will be timely delivery, project timeline, and uh, project timely completions. And of course, the other one we're going to use will be revenues. All right. So first thing first, Fit and large, okay, and I'll put the cursor here. Okay, now this is to share with you how we're going to set target. Now, this is a measure called timely delivery of work. Now, the, the measure itself, if you don't define it, the measure name is meaningless. So what this particular individual want to do is he got timely delivery of work. So in this example, the appraiser 
have decided that there are two work areas per month to be timely delivered based on agreed timeline. That means to say the manager and the bosses agreed that for this measure, there are two particular uh, uh, activity. One is I mean report submission, and the other is account completions. So straight away, you can see that there are two activity, all right, per month. Now, obviously, uh, what we're going to use in this particular target setting is to use a simple formula called an AB formula. Now, AB means A, in this case, there is a way in which you can generate an outcome. A means what is the agreed outcome uh, that, we, that is timely completed, and B will be the total outcome. Now, very simple is here will be A, B. In this case, the total number B has to be 24 because there are two activities each month. That means to say, I agree with my bosses that every month I'm going to look at two activities that I must complete on time. So in this case, I measure over a 12 month period, which means to say that two multiply ply will give me 24 month, uh, 24 activity. Now, of course, here we, uh, we decide to use a linear approach. Now, don't worry about linear means it's linearly up or linearly down. Okay, so as I mentioned today, I'm not going to go into theory uh, concept. So both agreed. And second thing is that I probably sit down with my, with my, my subordinate or with my, and we agree that the mid target in this case is 22 out of 24. That means my boss will give me, uh, if I achieve 22 out of 24, what it means to say I have meet, uh, meet the target. Now we also agree the stretch target is 23 out of 24. That means to say if I achieve 23 out of 24, it is a stretch target. And here we agreed that if 24 out of 24, I achieve the, the result per, per year, it is 100%, that is called high performance target. Now the below target in this case is 21 out of 24. That means if I did not achieve 22, I achieved 21, it is below target. In this case, 87.5%. Now this is very important in the sense we must predetermine how we want to measure the performance of myself or the, my subordinate of a particular measure which have agreed that we're going to look into mid-target, stretch target, below target. Now, interestingly, if you can see my presentation, that mid, stretch, high, below. Now, when you do target setting, it must be always in this sequence. This is a very important requirement to set, set target. So, which means to say, when we want to set target for any individual, we must start with mid-target first. Okay, then followed by stretch, then followed by high, and then followed by below. That is the correct sequence of how target setting need to be set if we want to set a target range, all right? So basically, that is what the whole thing is all about. 22 out of 24, 23 out of 24, 24 out of 24, all right? So now very simple, I'm gonna take this thing out. Now, on top of here, you can see there are two buttons, one with a single uh, arrow uh, to the, right-hand side, the other with double arrow. Now, don't worry about the double arrow, just concentrate on the single arrow first. So in other words, what I need to do now is I need to set target. So you can see here below, need to stretch and hide. There's no data at all, all right? So to do that, I will click the single button. So everybody will, you click the single button. So you were able to see another side of the target setting tools here. So once I click a single button, you were able to see this a display in this particular manner. All right. Now, what is interesting now is this. So if, uh, if you all have done it, please click a three for me in the uh, chat session. So I know that you have done it already and you know how to move. So to move back, of course, I can click this button and I click again, you will move back, okay? So if I want to move forward again, I click forward again. So it allowed me to uh, move from once stage to another, doesn't matter, all right? So just how you move. So if you've done it, just key in here. Okay, now, interestingly, you notice that these tools are done to, to make sure that we use set target in the correct sequence. Now, because we're using a formula base called AB, so in this case, the B is 24, everybody I will key at 24 here. So in this case, I'll key at 24 inside here to show me that this is a B here. So straight away, you can see that the mid target will display zero, zero, because it simply means I haven't decided what I want to do. But we agreed that the mid target is 22 out of 24. All right. So why key 22 out of 24, you can see immediately that the mid target is 91.67%. Now, 
I want you to understand one thing is this. Generally speaking, when you set target, okay, in most situations, 80 to 90% of the situation, the need target, normally you cannot get a perfect percentage uh, because usually it's not like 10, 50, or 100. Most of the time it is over 12 months and normally that is the situation that you have done it. Now, some of you who have done it, just key in so you know it's 22 out of 24, all right? So that is how you do target setting. Now, I will show different, different approach. So that is how we do target setting. All right. Now, uh, anyone got any questions? Please ask because it's very important. Okay. All right. Now, so you can see meet target, we already set already. Now, of course, this tool is very smart. Um, in this, if I want to do a stretch target, I don't have to key in the uh, constant which in the 24, I just key in 23, all right? It will then generate 95.83%. If I key in 24, it will then generate 100%. Now, very important thing is you must follow the sequence. Always do mid, stretch, and high, and only then you do a below target. In this case, it's 21 out of 24. So straight away, I will then key in the result in this manner, all right? Now, some of you who have downloaded the tool, please uh, play with it so that you can understand this is what we call a new way of setting targets. Okay, so I will key inside here. That will share with you. Of course, here I show you a leading approach in which how you can actually set targets. Okay. Next thing, very important thing is the results. So if I key in the result, let's say for example, I have 24 activity, but in actual fact, uh, one of the activity was not actually carried out. I will key in 23 because why? Why 23? Simply because there's only, uh, we planned. You see, when you do target setting, it's based on planning. So we plan to do it. We plan to do every month two activity. Now, who knows? One particular month, there's a COVID situation, okay? And one of the report was not needed to submit. So when you key the result, you must key the actual activity, not the assumed activity. So it could be in this case, uh, 22 out of 24, and then it will then generate the result for you. In this case is, I get a uh, rating of three here, and it will show me how I get a rating of three. So this is how you do target setting this day. I mean, of course you can use Excel form to do it, but very important, this is based on quantitative approach how target setting need to be set. Okay, any question here? All right, now this is to show you. Now, let me show you the same example now. Of course, I click back. So in other words, I hope you understand what you mean by 23, because actual fact, we plan to have 24, plan to do 24 activity. But by the end of the year, we only have 23. So we will always key the actual result. So unfortunately, of course, you'll get a rating of three here. All right, so now what I do is I click the button back and show you another example on how target setting need to be set here, okay? Good here. If, if everyone are okay, just key a, 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 a tree for me in the chat, please. If you are okay, can you do me a favor? Just key a tree into the chat here. All right. Okay. All right, the next part is very important. I need to share with you an, another example of the same measure. Now let's look at here. So I'm going to key here. Now this is the same example. Sorry. Now, this is the same example here, okay? However, there's a little bit different here. Now, remember just now, there are two activity here. So two different people can use the same measure, but the condition might be different. In this case, there are three activity. So if there are three activity in this case, the total number of activity is not 24 per year, but it's now 36. And what is interesting now is here, this person decided to use S-curve while this one decided to use a linear approach on how to set target, all right? So if you use an S-curve, now the difference between linear and S-curve simply means to say it is not, once the S-curve, the difference here is, in this case, for example, is mid target is 32 out of 36, stretch target is supposed to be 33 out of 36, 34 out of 36, but in this case, you can see there's a gap of different 32 and 34 here. And high performance target in this case now is not 100%. It's not 36 out of 36. It was agreed it's 33 out of 36 to set target here. All right. 
So that will show you how target setting has to be done in this case. So now, so you know very well, in this case is 30, what? 30, 32, 34, and 35. Likewise, I will then click this button here. Okay, in this case, I'll put there 36, all right? So 36 in this case, uh, my agreed target with my boss is 32. So I'll key in 32. It will then generate a result for you here. So some two, two person can be doing the same measure, but sometimes the percentage might not be the same simply because the number of activity involved might not be the same, all right? So now to do stretch target, in this case, 34, I key 34 here. And here I key 35, okay? And likewise, I then do uh, the below target, which is 31. The important thing I want you to realize is when you do target settings, okay, you must follow the sequence. This is how the sequence has been done in which how you set target here. Okay, so this is how the target. The only different one is using linear, one is using S curve. Of course, the actual result could be in this case 35. Okay, and so happen is uh, 30, 33. So in other words, it will then still generate a result for you here. All right, so that is how target setting has been done. So basically, I to give you a good example to understand that uh, it's very interesting that when you set target, you can use different different approach you want to do it. All right. Okay, I'll click back again. Now to share with you, there is another third approach which I do not recommend. This is what most people will do. So in this approach, basically is this. We are the only difference between here we use AB. If you look carefully here, we're using AB, but now here you're using A. Okay, but using S curve. So in using A here simply means to say that here is we just plug a figure, meet target, we just make a decision is 80%, 90%, 95%, and 75%. So because of this approach, that means to say I can do like this. So I just put it here. Don't worry about why I put 100 here. So I put here 80%, 90%, 90%, 95%. Uh, sorry, my apology here is 90%. And here is 95. Okay. And here will be 75. So, in other words, this is one way of setting targets here. So, you can see that I can have a measure here. Now, I show you three different ways in which I can set target for the same measure depending on what approaches I want to use. Now, you ask me, is there a right way or wrong way? I think it's very important depending on what you can agree with your between the appraiser and the appraisee, between you and your superior, or the superior and the appraisee here, all right? But of course, this third method of putting, plucking figures and put it in, uh, I will not recommend because uh, the problem here, it is very subjective. Uh, how do you know it's 80%? You don't have any basis to decide and make a decision of 80% here, all right? So that is one. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, another way of setting target. Now, this you can see that just to do a single measure, there's so many approaches on how you can set target, all right? So now let's look at another approach, which is in this case, I'm gonna scroll it up here. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna look at this one. Now, this particular set, target setting, it uses a concept called plus factor. Now, it is a plus factor simply means, what the minute you use a plus factor, you have to use linear. Plus factor means to say that, uh, you add additional condition in which how you want to set target. The issue here is you and your boss have agreed, okay, to set a target based on 100%. That means to say, so what I do is I'm going to uh, uh, click here, all right? So what I'm going to do is, it's agreed is 24 and 24. Now, the problem with when, when mid target is 100%, there is no such thing called 110%, 120%. Because the number of activity, you cannot have more than two per month. Maximum is only two. You cannot say, I'm going to add new activity. So it's very, very important thing is when you have a situation like this, okay, when you have a situation like this, okay, it's very important to now understand how to have stretch and high performance. Because then we have a problem. Boss, say 24 or 24. But how do I get stretch target? How do I get high performance target? All right. So very important, we now use a plus factor. Now, what is a plus factor? Plus factor means we add additional condition, okay? Additional condition. That means to say that in this particular example here, you either have plus one or plus two. Plus one means that six of your work must be ahead, two days ahead of time. That means out of the 12 activity, 12 activity or 24 activity, 
is six of my work are two days ahead of time. It can be any plus factor. In this case, we can have, if six of my report has zero error, there's no return. So it can be any, any plus factor you want to use here. So if six of my report or six of my submission have no error or two days ahead of time, I plus one. If nine report are ahead of time, I plus two. So in this case, what happened now is that I will then click here. That means to say it will be 25. Okay, I just, it's 20 equal to 24 plus one. Okay, so it's 25. So in other words, basically it's plus factor. So in this case, plus factor equal to 24 plus two. Now don't worry about how the thing works. Okay, then here will be 23 straight away. Now, this is another very interesting approach of how to test target setting. In this case, we use a plus factor method. So that means to say that I could have a situation where assuming out of the 24 activity, 23 are done on time, one are not done on time, but I still can get stretch target because uh, why? I can still get stretch target because if in this case, I have 23 plus two, okay, I can get 25 here. So this is one approach on how you actually set target using this approach here. So this is to share with you uh, different, different ways in which how target setting can be done here. This is to share with you this, all right? So I put full screen here. So you can see that I have one measure, I can do uh, different ways in which how to do target setting here, all right? Now, anyone, please, got any question, you feel free to ask, okay? Anything? Anyone got any question here? Okay, if there's a question, please ask the questions. All right. Now, don't worry about the two, but more important about the concept. There's so many ways to set targets. So these are some of the new approaches. In fact, uh, many of my clients uh, nowadays use a lot of the, uh, this particular method. All right, I'm just gonna share with you this particular method. Uh, okay, many of my clients are using this method called the plus factor. In fact, I have many, many fashion companies because they don't want to uh, measure large volume. So they base on the performer on a month by month basis. So whether you meet each month requirement or not, what is the month requirement and so forth. And that is basically how you use plus factor to measure performance here. All right. So that is one example. And of course, another way to apply plus factor, okay, you can do on a project basis. So this is a project. Of course, here we assume that there are more than one projects. In this case, there are seven projects. So in this case, I can have a seven projects. So when I want to measure performance of projects, okay, so the same thing likewise, I will go here, okay. Uh, I can have seven, all right. Then I put seven, okay. Then I use plus factor again, eight and nine and six, all right. Now, what it means to say that there is no eight project or there's no nine project, there's only seven projects. But in order to achieve uh, eight, means seven plus one, that means to say it could be three projects, I must have a cost saving of 10%. So you can add in new parameter, new dimension to drive performance in a more effective way. So that is basically how you actually have, when you have several projects, you actually put, because nobody will accept that mid target is six or seven or five or seven. Uh, no CEO will willing to accept this way of setting target. So in any project management, especially, that is how you actually set the target in this particular manner here. All right. So that will show you how you actually do a target setting in this manner. Now, what if it's a single project? Now, if a single project, we measure by day safe. We know we don't fix a timeline. So day safe, we measure by day safe. So the day safe that if you uh, meet target, all right, means if my deadline is 15 October and I also achieve 15 October. That's called mid target. So we, how many days you save in this case? Five, 10 in this case. So what I can do, I can also click here. So in this case, I'll just put that one, okay? So in this case, I'll put that zero. Okay, that means zero day save. So here will be five days save, and here will be 10 days save, and here will be uh, minus five, okay? Minus five days save. So in other words, this is uh, several ways in which how target setting can be done in this manner, all right? 
So today, these are very important approaches that uh, you that we that you can actually learn how to fat target in this manner. So I'm not going to go into detail today, but just give you a head start. Okay. So some of you who are on, on the learning materials, you can actually go in and learning material because the learning materials are very useful. You will, you can you can learn all the different different way, and you will guide you. Just put here. You just put it here. Or just know how to move the. The, the arrows and that will give you a way in which how you set targets and so forth. All right. So that is a simple little exercise. I know uh, it's, uh, it's very quick, but basically that is to give you an idea how to set targets. All right. You can use any Excel, you can do anything, but basically today is that is the way how you quantify any form of target setting. All right. Okay. Any other questions, please? Anyone who need to ask question here? Are you very clear about? Now, don't worry about the tool, but more important thing is I just want to show you that these are some of the new approaches in which how you do target setting. And these are the way how you do quantification of target setting. And interestingly, if you use the tool, you can see it gives you some information here, A, B, A, B, A. It also gives you an idea whether you're using ASCA for it. It also gives you an idea about what plus factor are you using, plus one, plus two. So you can see these are all samples to tell you how target setting has been done. So I want to make this true as easy as possible. You can go back, sit down with your team, try what one measure, go through it, and figure out how the whole uh, method works. More important thing is you need to know how to maneuver the tool. Now, I know this is a very short session, so I only can lead to your own ways and go back and figure out. So everybody, please click back the M because the next part I want to show you how to set target for another measure, exercise number five, for revenues and uh, sales, for revenue sales, all right? Go back to price and you click that set number eight here, I'll put it here, all right? Likewise, I will put enlarge. Okay, now this is very interesting is, I'm gonna show you uh, another formula, which is actually used extensively by financial sector, uh, how to set target of a measure based on a single value, and of course, how to set uh, different ways of setting a uh, measure for like revenue here. All right. So very quickly, I'm going to put up my mouth here, uh, my cursor here. Now, just quickly run through with you. In this example, we're going to set something quite uh, normal. Everybody have definitely have volumes and sales volume. This is very typical. So the only thing I want you to know is the sequence of how you set target must be in this order, mid, stretch, high, and below. That's very important. That is the right and the best practice on how target setting need to be set, all right? So now I put a mid target here. So the mid target here is 135. Stretch target is 142. High performance is 145. And we agree it's going to be an S curve. Okay, below target is 132, all right? So basically we know where, how we're going to set a target in this manner, okay? 135, 142, and 154, all right? So what I do is I click the single button here. Of course, I'll just key in one here. Uh, 135, okay, typically, this is what we do is 142, okay, 145, and this one, 132, all right, so typically, that is how you will have set your target in this manner, so I think this is a very standard convention way, which I think everybody are very family how to set a target, so that, of course, how you do your S-curve linear is up to you to decide, but in this case, it is linear, so that you know that the target setting is in linear. Now, let me show you this, how uh, this is another new ways of setting target for revenue. Uh, revenue in this case here, we're gonna use what interestingly we call the A multiplied by C formula. Now, what is A multiplied by C formula? Take note, just go here is, the C is the percentage adjustment again A, all right? So uh, uh, fortunately we didn't list it out here, we list in other part of here. So basically it's this, the C, okay, C in natural fact is a percentage adjustment, if you look at here, uh, of an agreed projected revenue of mid target. So in this case, and we decided that how we're going to set target is, I, I don't put figure already, I decided to do an adjustment of percentage again, a mid target. So in this case, if I click here, the same thing means I'll put one, Okay, then I put there one, three, five. So this is quite standard. Whether you use what method, this is the standard method that we do to set target here. All right, so of course I will click back again. Now, but what is interesting now is now I adjust the percentage. I don't key the number. I say, okay, what is stretch target? 
110% of meat target. What's high performance? 115% of uh, meat target. Below target is 95%. All right, so to do that, in this case, I will have to change to view lock. Okay, and I will click this double arrow. I need to see this. So now I will have to do percentage adjustment. So in this case, in order to get the figure here, I tell myself it's 110, all right? So I key 110 and straight away, it give me 148 million, 148.5 million. In this case, I put 115. Straight away, it give me 155 million of uh, 25. And in this case, I put there 95. Then you will give me the percentage of here. Now, basically, I, we developed the two simply to make it easy. But basically, financial sector or people in the financial industry will tend to use this method to calculate value. And this is a better method to do target setting for revenue because we can discuss about it. Say, for example, assuming one guy is 135, another guy could be 105. Now, in this case, what happened now, you will sell it just by itself because we can agree that, for example, Northern Division, uh, because of the smaller market, but how we going to do a target setting is all the same, 110, 150, and 95. Southern, middle, uh, uh, central is 135, maybe uh, Joko is 145. So by doing this method, the whole calculation of the target setting is self-adjusted by itself. So that is a better way. And then, for example, if I say hey, this is too high, I just have to adjust the percentage and the calculation will come in. Let's say I put there 106, okay, and I decided to put 110. And of course, here I can just put the 96 and automatically you will able to calculate for you because this is much more meaningful way to do target setting in this way. All right. Now, my purpose today is to expose to you that in actual fact, there's so many ways to set targets depending on uh, what you want to do. But more important, don't just pluck figure from the air, but this is how you will set target in this particular manner and how you can do it here. All right. Okay, everyone. Anyone got any question? All right. Now, anyway, I will suggest you download the tool because uh, we don't have time to cover everything. And I thought that I just want to do a quick session just to give you a head start on what this whole thing are about. So you go to here, okay, everybody click on M. Let me show you very interesting. In fact, you can learn so much thing from the material I provided for you, okay? You can actually learn all the different ways of setting target. Okay, I given to you. This is a gift for all of you here. And if I want to even understand a more complex way of uh, how different measures need to do, you just click on go to pitch object here, go to pitch two. You click here, you'll go to another side of it. It will show you a different, different element of how target setting needs to be done. Now, this is not to make things complicated, it's just to tell you that actual fact, there's so many ways you can set target in different, different aspects of it. Even like respond time, this one way. There's another way to do respond time. So you can then you can learn all the different aspects of how target setting that can be done and so forth. All right. Uh, you can actually play with this, but of course, today we don't have time. So in other words, I want to go, I go to set number 10, and you can see that it provides you tremendous amount of detail here. Okay, you can learn and you can understand what are the steps you take to do target setting. Today, as I mentioned to you, it's a very practical session. Uh, not intended for you to uh, go in. I know that, of course, uh, I don't current the concept aspect of it, but it's good enough. Even I show you how to do compliance score, how to manage different different types of measures, so that at least you have an idea how certain things that need to be done. So you just go in here. Uh, I've given this. This is rich of information. I'm not saying that you need to follow everything, but what I mean to say that at least you have some problem you have certain measures. You can go in here. And you can learn, for example, how to uh, do, let's say, for example, a single measure here. So it provides you uh, uh, ways, what are the steps. It also gives you an idea, for example, uh, just share with you this, uh, what other type of measure that you can apply here. So you can have certain information of the different, different types of measure that you can apply here. All right. Now, please, you will have to go through yourself so that you can understand how the various things work here. Okay. All right, so of course I can go back to M. Okay, of course I can go back to page one. So I can just, okay. There are a lot of things here, but today is not the intention of my intention, my, just to cover the target setting part of it. Okay, so anyone, uh, 
Any other things you need to know or have I covered enough? Please remember, of course, we can't cover everything, but good enough for you to give you at least an idea on so many, many ways in which how to do such target setting, whether it's a quantitative form, but of course, more important people to do qualitative forms. All right. But of course, if you all need to know more, okay, I will, I will if not, I will just close the session here. So I'm going, to, I'm going to save it or you can just save it. All right. Now I will just cover it. Now, if you need to know more, okay, uh, my intention is we have, uh, we're going to organize a, a, what we call a classroom program just to share with you this. All right. Uh, we're going to run a program uh, on 16 and 17 March. This is going to be a workshop already. Uh, we probably were one of the very few to do a workshop and I've been running a couple of workshops for my client already. So this is called Developing Performance Metrics and Target Setting for Managers and Executives. Of course, we're going to cover a lot of things. You've got to understand the concept behind why certain ways, how target need to be set. So my intention was to provide you all to understand, okay, this whole program was about helping the managers and executives to understand how to set target, also to understand how to link up the activity to target settings here, all right? Now, as I mentioned to you, basically is to also help individuals progress toward meeting the organizational objective. And the other thing is, uh, these two days, we want to help each and every one of you to actually set a set of KPI so that you can have a starting point on performance improvement process, all right? So this is a public workshop. That we are, I think my. Uh, so this is the public workshops that we are organizing in this case. So that's a very simple introduction to you here. Now, what are the learning objectives? Very quickly, that should share with you this. First of all, uh, is to understand and appreciate the importance of managing performance and the relation to organization direction. I think that's very important. And of course, uh, we're going to learn the fundament of developing key performance indicators. In this case. There are a few very important subject matters I'll be covering. Number one is key focus areas. So which means to say that I will show you uh, how to use key focus areas for different, different job positions, all right? So let's say manager projects, there are certain key focus areas, senior manager, key focus areas. The correct way to do performance management today is not to just come up with objective and measure. You have to know what are the things you need to focus in relation to performance. And if you look carefully here, very important thing is there are three common key focus areas in respect who you are that you need to have operation efficiency, quality and standard, competent team and motivations. All right. So, so as a senior ICT, uh, uh, executive ICT also have key focus areas. So each and every job position, they will be different variants in what are the core focus areas you need to work on. So if it's a factory manager, there are key focus areas in this case, if they are senior sales manager, marketing uh, executive, there are also key focus areas you need to do it. So this is one of the things that we're going to learn in the two-day workshop. Now, the other thing is developing a set of objective management for performance metrics. This is also important, which means to say that we were going to teach you, for example, share with you from a key focus area, for example, manager projects, how he developed his objective and measures. For example, manager sales, how does he develop his measures, his objective and measures? using the key focus areas method. Factory man manager, factory managers, we will see, we'll show you how we're going to develop his objective and his measures. So these are a part of the learning programs that we're going to organize uh, very importantly uh, during the two-day programs, all right? So return, so that will show you the key focus areas in this approach here, all right? Next is setting target and target for specific measures. So we're going to also cover things like how to set but just so I show you this, just walk through with you so you understand and eventually how you actually generate the score and things like this. All right. So this is a very important part of the learning exercise that we're going to do uh, in the two-day workshops, face-to-face uh, -face two-day workshops. Okay. So this is the learning objective. Uh, what will you be getting? Uh, this is important. Uh, you'll be getting a couple of things. Number one, of course, you know very well, uh, this is the learning materials. We call learning science and multi-dimensional. So we will provide you a learning materials. In, in other words, you can actually go in, okay? And it will show you, and these are all object-based, okay? You can know how to click the object base. You can click back and so forth. So that will provide you uh, a lot of things on how you want to drive performance, okay? So uh, in this case, uh, let's go with. 
it will return back again. All right. Then we also provide you a set of uh, objective and uh, objective and metric sets so that you, you're also going to receive a comprehensive library of ob objective by key focus areas so that this will make learning and much faster. Uh, today, uh, I always mention it's no more rocket science. A lot of things that you can now organize in such a way to make it so much easier for your executive, for the manager to develop objective and measures. Because sometimes you cannot expect to learn everything in a two-day workshop. But after you go back, when you decide to add new measures and new objectives, at least this will help you to establish how you want to do it. Second thing, you don't even have to worry. We also give you a set of measures, 177 measures that you can ready to use measures. And not only that, when you are ready to use measures, how to set target for each measures are also provided for you. So that means to say, that actually cuts short the learning process by at least more than 50%. So you can actually learn how to set uh, the measures. In fact, I would say I'll have all your measures, but I can say that easily the 80% 80, 80 of the measures that I have provided for you should be good enough for most of the work that you want to do here. All right, so you can see that uh, in this two-day program, we give you quite a lot of things that you need to have here. All right, now what is interesting, so we actually, Take for example, sorry, take for example, I'll share with you. We actually give you a whole library of measures. So this is the library. So this library, what is interesting will be given to all of you here. And what is important is that, of course, uh, you, can, you can look, you can add more measures. Of course, here show 177. You want to add more measures, so you can add new measures here so that you can actually look at the new measures that you want to add in, all right? You can add new objective, okay? Then you can also help you to understand, for example, if I want to look at measure related operating efficiency, I decided I want to look at, let's say sales and business, it will generate for you. Uh, if I want to look at marketing, it will give you all the measures related to marketing. Now today, it's very important. We must break everything down into single modular form so that we make it so easy for everybody to manage performance. So let's say if I want to look at, uh, uh, let's say shareholders and relationship, I click on it, it will show me the measures that normally that you need to use for shareholders and relationship. So this particular tools will be given to you and you can customize it and you can update it into whatever tools that you want to do and so forth. So this is very, very important. We not only just give you uh, what we call, uh, uh, in just give you measure by name, but we actually give you a whole tools that you can develop it, all right? So that is to give you an idea about uh, what we actually provide for you. The next part, this is very, very significant. This is a new breakthrough for us. We call job position with set of KPI. Now, what it means to say that eventually at the end of the day, you don't have to even worry. I, will, I, can, I can't promise you that I will have all the 100% of the job position they have, but I can easily say 80, 90% most job position that you need to have is already provided inside here. So, uh, which means to say you have corporate, you have corporate planning. So for example, uh, what are the typical job positions each uh, department uh, need to have? You can then download it and then you can actually extract it. Let me give you one example here. So take for example, okay, so this is a library of job positions. Uh, so in other words, we also provide for you. Now today, I'm not going to show how to, use, how to do it, all right? But I'm going to show some samples here, all right? So which means to say, these are all given to you, okay? So you don't have to worry. These are all given to you. So you can see that basically any job position that you need to have, you don't even have to figure out. That you don't have to, in other words, let's say, for example, you decided not to uh, waste too much time to do how to do target setting. You can use our template. In other words, I manage your commun com community relationship. Automatically, the objective measure will uh, be set for you already, all right? So, and of course, just to show an example, which means to say that, uh, okay, which means to say that assuming now, if I want to have a job position uh, for this particular uh, like sales, so in other words, you can have the sales, okay, it's all created for you, all right? Okay, then you get branch managers, so you can see all the objective measures are there. So even how to set target for measures and everything else, it's all given, all the 170 syringes are with sampling everything you need to do. Today, we had to shorten the learning process. Today, we had to shorten the implementation process. 
This is the way to go forward in the future. We cannot use the traditional ways of doing performance management here. All right. Okay, uh, there's a question they said, how does, uh, how does it work, job position set KPA from uh, one of the participants? All right. Now, what, uh, thank you very much, Pavi, for, uh, 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 now, let me just share with you and close it. That means to say now, now, how does it work is like this, just to share with you this. Now, let's say I have a job position. Okay, so uh, just to emphasize, I have a job position. Okay. Okay, now let's say I have a job position and the job position in this case is uh, ICT manager. So I will then click on the ICT manager and download these templates into the system. Now, let's say if I need to have another position and I want to look at, for example, uh, I want to look at projects, um, uh, let's say senior engineer projects. So I don't have to worry. So when I go inside here, all the data are there here. It will help you and, I will, and it will then transfer the data inside here. So these are all the data that you need to have. And of course, uh, we, you can add a new job position, whatever, if you want to know security guard, so I, can, I know what kind of measures I need to uh, do for security guard. So this is huge amount of library. Uh, normally we don't give this away, okay? But this is a very exceptional case that uh, we're going to provide all these things. Because today it's not just coming and learn. Today is, I think every one of you, every organ need a lot of help. And some of these helps are very important so that we don't waste time. And sometimes I need to launch it very quickly. I could have a new position that I need to execute. So I don't have to worry and I can easily execute the job position very, very quickly here. All right. So this is just to share with you this, how this has been done. So in other words, I can easily create a job positions that need to be set and I can actually just create in this manner. All right. So that's basically what this whole tools is all about here. Okay. All right, let's move on. Eh? I'm going to just close it off. I'm going to save it. All right. So uh, this is uh, basically is all the different different job positions that you need to have here. All right. Now, who will be who need to be attending? Now, I will recommend senior HR manager is relevant to you because you can you can use all our material and quickly set up and roll out your performance management very very quickly because you don't have to waste your time. Assuming now. My company wants to set up the whole performance driven for 2021. You can use all our set of materials, attend a program, you can actually roll it out already. All right. So, in other words, of course, those people who want to learn, want to learn how to set performance metrics, managers and executive, I will highly recommend it that you attend this program. Okay. It's really value for money. All right. So, what is the investment part? All right. The investment part is very simple. Normal price is 235. Uh, 2385, and this is inclusive of the uh, SSD. So we actually add in to make it very easy. So SSD. However, if you register before the 16th of February, you just have to pay 2067 ringgit. That is per pack. All right. HRDF is full claimable. In fact, uh, you can claim at 2006, but of course, ours is less than 2006. So in other words, you actually can get 100% full claim from HRDF. All right. However, we also have this special offer. If you register before the 6th of January, okay, you actually pay 1855, all right? That is, uh, as I mentioned to you. But if, if any one of you are a past participant, you only pay 1749 of any other program that you have attended. So this is a very, very special offer. Now, just to let you know, because of the challenging situation of COVID-19, uh, we are only allowed to have only maximum 25 per pack. That means to say we cannot go beyond 25 uh, participants uh, in this program uh, due to uh, MCO SOP. But however, we also had to caution you that in case the MCO enforcement comes in, the program will have to go online or be postponed. So that is something that you have to take note that we might postpone the program, but I hope not. All right, we might actually go online. All right, so the total... This is basically to give you an idea about investment. I have a question. Let me see what's the question. Oh, what somebody asked, uh, will the price be reduced if online? Okay, I think that's a very good question. All right. Now, assuming if we have to go online, you, I wish, I, I hope not, lah, if we do online, we will actually give a rebate of 250 ringgit for the program. That means to say if it's a 1855, we will rebate you 250 ringgit from here. 
Uh, and we do online, it will be uh, one full day and two half day. We cannot do a two full day because one full day will be nine to four, two half day will be nine to one, one nine to one, because uh, our online programs have to be run very, very different if we choose to run online, all right? Or in, or in case if we can postpone and we, if we can have an alternate date, we will then postpone it. Okay, but basically that will give you an idea about how we can do it. All right. Okay, uh, somebody asked, what if you don't want to join online? Uh, okay, guys, take you note know, if you don't do, join online because of this MCO thing, but it must be uh, because of MCO thing, we will give you a full refund. You don't have to worry because I don't want people to be worried, registered today and that's it tomorrow. And then you, you, you cannot, uh, uh, what do you call, get your full money back. If assuming due to the MCO situation, we can't run a HIP of 60 and 70 March program, all right? And you also don't choose to want to participate on the online and you also don't want to participate on the postponement program, you will get your 100% uh, rebate. It's not a problem. Okay, I hope I answered the question in that context of it. If some of you have further questions. Now, however, those who attend this program, I am going to give a very special deal. Not on top of all this, they're going to throw in something quite interesting. This is a special deal. Now, this special deal is only for those who register before the 21st of December. Now, if you register before 21st of December, we're going to throw in a reward distribution uh, system, bonus and increment, and result calibration tools. We're going to give you these very powerful tools. Uh, HR, senior manager, you'll find this very useful. This will help you do calibrations, especially when the results come in and we need to do calibration. You need to do bonus distribution, especially for HR managers. You'll find this very significant. On top of that, we also throw a half day session to just go through the reward distribution, the calibration tool. We, uh, we'll probably, we can even organize the calibration exercise to show you how we're going to do it in that manner here. All right. So this is a very special that is provided you registered before the 21st December. All right. For organizers that send in 10, three participants or more, we also want to throw you a light version uh, performance appraisal system. Now, you can actually upgrade to our cloud solution if you wanted to, but you don't have to worry about it. I always suggest is play with it, whether you like it or not, and things like this. So you actually get a light version of the performance appraisal. This is a light version. This is an admin module, all right? This is the uh, what we call the appraisal forms. So this is a Excel appraisal form, so you can actually use it in that particular manner. All right, so that will actually give you an idea about what we're going to throw in. On top, I'm going to throw in additional two half-day online sessions on customization exercise, which in case you want to do a customized exercise, you can actually do it. All right, but all this will be done online, huh? just to let you know. However, company sending more than uh, five participants, we will upgrade you to a basic addition system. Now, this basic addition system is this. Now, this is a basic addition system, all right? The different, this is a uh, light addition. This is a basic addition. Now, of course, the bells and whistle of basic additions is enormous. It can do very fantastic thing. You can customize on. So this is the, uh, this is the, what we call the admin module so that you can actually customize it. This is the, uh, the, 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 the things look exactly no, almost the same like a light addition. But however, there are a lot of things which are different. The engines are different. Other than that, uh, you can do it. And of course, just to let you know, we also have English and Bahasa. So you don't have to worry. So the tools are also smart, quite smart. For those who are not proficient, uh, it, can, uh, it will allow you to uh, do this uh, in this manner. So please, this is really worth it that all of you can uh, register this. Now, my, uh, Pavi, my associates, will send you the... The, this particular thing, you can download it. You can uh, pick up the brochure. You can do online registration from here already if you choose to do it, all right? So this is a brochure just to let you know if you want to know a little bit of details of the uh, programs, all right? Uh, all right just let me just click this, okay. So you can actually download the thing. All right, so this is a brochure. Okay, you can download the brochure from here. So the brochure will provide you day one, day two, everything is provided for you. So you can see day one, day two, and you can register. Or you can actually click here to register online. If you need to register, you can register online. So it's not a problem here. Or you can click here, 
the tools I download for you, you can actually do online registration immediately. All right, it's not a problem here. Okay, so you can actually download the, the tools here. Uh, it's not a problem. So probably I send you the material so you can actually download the material if you want to download the material. All right, so you can actually do the couple of things here uh, in this manner here. All right, so this is the whole package. This is a very special deal uh, I'm giving to all of you especially for HR, senior HR manager, if you don't have a good bonus distribution, good calibration, good increment tool, or this, you, this will be like, got sent to you one. Very honestly, it's so powerful. You can do a lot of things in this manner. And coupled with the uh, system, and they're all interlinked together. You can actually do uh, a lot of things in such a manner that you want to do it. Now, of course you can, now, if you want to learn all our online training FOC one, you can actually go to our website, click on it, and you can actually uh, go and register and learn any other material and so forth. All right. So uh, I'm going to leave you for questions. If you have any questions, sorry. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask questions. You can actually type in the chat or you can ask me directly for any questions that you have here. All right. Okay, guys, this, this particular session is, is the most simplest session really because I was thinking I want to give you all something different so that you can actually look at it and in this particular manner. So anyone got any questions, feel free to ask. You can, if you're not uh, uh, comfortable to uh, speak to me directly, uh, you can just key into the chat, all right? Uh, if you have questions to download. All right. Um, how do you find the session? Are you happy with it? Just give me a, a, a key something and tell us so that we can further improve. Next year, we're going to have a very interesting, a lot of online session every month as well, okay? Like what we've done this year. So anyway, if you have no questions, uh, please download the materials as you can uh, and uh, feel free to drop in. Uh, you can always call us uh, and we'll see what we can do to help you out. All right, if you need to know more, you can always call us. You can key the link to it and uh, we were more than happy to help you. All right, uh, I guess there's no questions. Uh, this is uh, no further questions. I will just leave it as it is. Wish you have a good day and uh, we'll catch up again. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks. All right, thanks.